<sighs> Hello everyone. I saw Jim and Ozzy are online, so I'm happy and I'm hoping they're gonna get to see me. Um looks like I need a little bit more light. And some chimes. <laughs> okay. Um, so today's question is, um, have you ever had an experience that led you to believe in ghosts or angels? And here's the crazy part about it. Yes, I have. I do believe in ghosts and angels. And sometimes I really don't know what the difference between a ghost and an angel is. I guess a ghost we think of as um, negative and an angel as positive. And um, don't look at my mess. I want to just turn another light on. Okay any better for some reason I just feel so darn today okay so have you ever had an experience that led you to believe in angels or ghosts oh my god Shelly you're my favorite you're my number one fan um okay so many of you know that um that my mom passed away when I was in high school and um It was really tragic. It was un totally unexpected. Um, it was on the night of my junior prom and she had made my dress. And the pictures that we took that night are the last pictures ever taken of her. And um, she had what's called a cerebral hemorrhage, which means that too much blood gets to the brain. At least that's my, un my limited understanding of it. So she was perfectly healthy when we left and when I got home from the prom, she had passed away. Now, my first recollection of sleeping, I don't know when that, when that happened or when that took place, but eventually I either went upstairs and took a nap or I went to sleep for the night. And the way the house was set up, there were seven kids mom and dad's mom and dad's room over here uh, upstairs grandma a grandmother lived with us she had that bedroom over here and then there was a little area in the middle where the bathroom was and just kind of like a landing area and then on this side was the girls room and the boys room four girls in one room three boys in the other room and um my mom used to drink a lot of tea and so she would um it up in the middle of the night and her room was that agnol from the girls room and I had a really hard time sleeping when I was young I always thought someone was gonna come in and hurt us it's the craziest thing who would break into a house where there's ten people but that's was a fear of mine as a child so I often didn't sleep very well or I was awake at night and she would get up from her bathroom from her bedroom and diagonally go in that I could see her diagonally and she would go into the bathroom because she'd been drinking tea all day hot tea all day and um so the first time I remember sleeping after hearing about, about my mom passing away I um I saw her come out of her room and Instead of going into the bathroom, she came into my room and I s slept on the lower level of the bunk bed. My sister Mary slept on the top bunk. And, um, and she reached out to me and she said, and she touched my arm and she said, I'm all right. And some people will say I was dreaming and she wasn't there and I just know she was there. I could feel her arm on me. I could hear her voice. And um, now that I'm much older, um, she has been passed away about 40 something years. Um, I, um, I 
I wonder if she came to me because I needed the most help. I feel that maybe I was the most devastated by it. In the family, when, um, thank you for saying you believe in my encounter and yeah, it's crazy. It's just such a hard loss. And um, for those of you just joining, the question today is, um, has anybody, have you ever had an experience that led you to believe in angels or ghosts? So I was just telling my story on that. And um, yeah, in a family like mine, you didn't talk about things. You never talked about tragedy. Um, she passed away and my father had a really, really hard time with it. And we just never took. It was almost like her name was never spoken again. It was very rarely that we ever speak of her again. And um, and I just know that, um, I just am confident that she reached out to me on purpose because I have had an incredibly hard time dealing with it. And still to this day, right now, I still have uh, something happening coming up in my life that, um, when you don't have a mom, it's um, difficult to, like we all say we don't have the instruction book, but when you don't have a mom, you kind of just wing it when there's mom things that are coming up. And so there's a big mom thing coming up and um, makes me a little nervous. So um, Atlanta, Atlanta, not at Atlanta. Atlanta's on here. Shelly's on here. Does anyone want to join the conversation and answer the question, which is, have you ever had an experience that led you to believe in angels or ghosts? I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure you hit the, at the bottom, there's a button with two little faces. I think if you hit that, you can get on and talk to me and personally. All right, let's hear it, Shelly. Do you see the little button there? Someone did this to me once before when I was doing these live videos. They hit, and somehow we had a conversation. Do you want to tell us about your situation? Now, if I hit this, if I hit this, I think it's just going to be like two of me. Oh, yeah. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Check that out.